hello there my lovely heartbeats and welcome back to another video hey i'm doing it welcome to vlogmas day three day three day three day three vlogmas day three welcome to vlogmas day three day three okay i'm so silly y'all okay so thanks for joining me welcome back before i get into this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up um before i start anything right now Y'all, I'm getting tongue-tied. Woo, it's been a long day. Woo, I don't know what day y'all gonna see this on, but today is my Sunday. Yes, today is my Sunday. So, this is going to be keeping up with Vlogmas and new faces. So, these are a lot of faces. Some old, some new, some you've seen, some you haven't seen. Some you may have even forgotten about. So, um, and some that you've never even seen before. So, this is going to be a comparison video. So, um, like I said, we went to my first Vlogmas video. If you haven't seen it, here it is right here. Somewhere over there, you should be able to just click on that right there and see it if you haven't seen it. So, in that video there, I let you guys, um, I had told you that I was going to do a video comparing reborn dolls for those who didn't know what a reborn doll was. And this is a reborn doll channel. So, a reborn doll is simply a baby doll that has been painted to look like a living live baby. It has all the realism of a real baby, all the depth in its painting to make it look like a real live baby. Okay, so there are a few different kinds of reborn dolls and people get it confused when you're saying reborn because sometimes they're meaning a silicone doll. Um, silicone dolls have been reborn, but they are not a reborn doll. You see what I'm saying? So the dial pieces have been reborn to look like a living baby. It has been painted with all the realism to look like a real baby, but it is not a reborn dial. It's still a silicone baby because it's made out of silicone. Reborns are made out of vinyl. Okay, so first and foremost, reborns are made out of vinyl. Silicone dials are exactly that. They are made out of silicone but they have been reborn by an artist, okay? Because I see a lot of people, especially on these fake scammer sites, and a lot of people want to buy dolls for their kids, and they like, I want a silicone vinyl doll. And it's like, hmm? Or I want a, I want a reborn silicone. No, no, however they say in it, it's, it's, it's mixed up and it's confusing. So I'm hoping that this video will clarify some of those misconceptions and some of those misunderstandings. Okay, so first... <clears throat> Now that I done got all of that out of the way. So this is a reborn vinyl dial kit, okay? it This is a full limb vinyl reborn dial kit. They come in quarter limbs. Quarter limbs are just that. They're a quarter of the limb. So you would get about that much. Then they have three-fourth limbs, which three-fourths are normally, you get a little bit of the thigh here, about right there. And then you have full limbs, which these are full limbs. So reborn dolls are vinyl. You can get them in quarter limbs, quarter inch limbs. You can get them in three quarters inch limbs. That will be there. You'll get the foot, the leg, and a bit of the thigh. Or you can get full limbs, which will have a full lie, full lie, a full thigh, the leg, and the foot. Okay, and you can get, um, depending on what particular style reborn you picked, you have a body to match, whether it's full limbs, three quarter limbs, whatever. So this is um, a dose weight body. You would fill this with weighting material, which most people prefer um, refined glass beads. Um, and I'll do a video, probably not during my vlogmas, but I'll do a video, an update video of that later of where you can find all of your supplies if you're into reborning or considering reborning. Or maybe you know someone who's reborning and they want to just cut some of their costs. Um, so these kits can vary anywhere from um, $69. They used to be like $60, but I think now they're like $69. Um all the way up to sheesh you can buy a kit if it's a sold out limited edition and you have to buy it you know 
second market somewhere, you can pay $500, $800 for a kit. Um, and that's in a vinyl reborn. So um, just to put that, that's something to think about, something to consider if you're thinking about purchasing these dolls. You know, nobody's selling you no reborns for $150. They're not $59.99. So just keep that in consideration. Um, yeah, so then you can take these pieces and have them to be painted to look like a real live living baby. Now, these also come with belly plates okay this one has i'm gonna show you the other side because it actually does have um female girly private parts and i'm not going to show that but i'll show you it like that and then i'll show you this one um like that but it they do come with belly plates and you would attach them you know, with some form of a um string tie this is i just did this quick for myself but i wouldn't suggest that you do yours like that i only put mine on for pictures and stuff and then i store these um i store them separately when i'm not using them but that would just go underneath there wrap around with its clothes and his t-shirt on you can see and as you can see with the many layers of paint that um that goes into the work of a reborn doll because this vinyl was actually the color of this okay so that's just a little something added on if you want to have more realism if you're into posing and taking pictures of your dolls you might want to um, consider investing in a belly plate or a tummy plate um, they even have wraparound plates and they have um, yeah so that's just something to think about adding on when you're saying full body um a full body reborn i'm thinking this is what you guys mean and this is what an artist is thinking this is what you mean when you say full body they're thinking that you want something like a tummy plate or something because a reborn doesn't have a full body okay it's going to come it's not solid it's going to come weighted and stuffed with some type of weighting material in a dose weighted body but you can opt to have a tummy or belly plate put on make sure i'm still recording while i'm still talking okay now let's move right on there are different other kind of reborns you can get you can get a cuddle body reborn and a cuddle body reborn is um just that it has a cuddle cloth body um sort of like um i don't want to say teddy bear because it's not the same as a teddy bear um but something like it's just a stuffed body, a complete stuffed body. Instead of it having the limbs with the fingers and toes, it just has stuffed limbs. See that? It doesn't have fingertips. It's just made like a mitt. And then the feet, same thing, okay? So this is a cuddle body. But it does have a vinyl reborn head. And the head can be have painted hair, rooted hair. It can be bald. But it is reborn meaning painted to look like a live living baby as well. These are cheaper depending on what sculpt, depending on what artist, but usually you can find a cuddle baby for cheaper than what you can find a full reborn doll. So that's just another option to think about when you're considering pricing and buying a reborn doll, okay? And um, something good y'all, when you moving your babies, don't just grab them by their bodies or grab them by their shoulders. You want to grab them. Most of the time, all of the weight is in the head. And I know I'm getting off track from this video, but the weight is in the head. So if you grab that baby by the back of the head, you can kind of use the um, forehead. If you don't want to use their forehead, you can kind of use their nose. So you can kind of turn them from side to side so you're not constantly touching all over their face or something like that. I see I use uh, my finger on her hair. Or I use my finger on her nose to turn her head. But the weight is in her head, so I'm just not constantly touching on her face. But anyway, back to the comparison of the reborn dolls. Vinyl and silicone. So now let's get into the silicone dolls. So there are many, <clears throat> many silicone sculptors, many silicone artists, many silicone pourers. Okay, so first of all, you can find them anywhere, any outlet. Can type it up on uh, Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitter, Pinterest, anywhere you will see them. So everybody asks them, where do you get your dolls from? I can't find it out. Yes, you can. You're not looking or you're playing games. So let's stop doing that. Okay. So now <laughs> let's get into the different kinds. So 
we have these are all silicone babies okay so you have your silicone mini babies silicone mini babies can be from i've seen them as small as four inches i think maybe four inches has been the smallest that i've seen it but this would be a mini baby um and she is 10 inches long she is a full body oh hair is looking a mess but she don't have on that little hat um but she is a full body silicone so that means she does have girly parts um yeah she does have oh oh you're missing an earring somewhere that's dangerous so hmm anyway i get so off track um so she does have girly parts um she is soft they can be poured in different eco flexes that's meaning the density or the softness or tenderness of the silicone um it's her little back there <laughs> She's so small, it's hard to pull up these little clothes. But that's her little back, her little stomach, yeah, little feet. And I also, I did put armatures in this baby, which I don't know if you can tell, but she's so small. Um, so the equal flex will be the density or the softness or um thickness of the silicone in the baby and i do not like this hat with this outfit i was just taking a picture of her face for somebody but now her hair is a mess and i don't want to take it off for the video um, <laughs> um so yeah she does have armatures in her arms which they're not working too good right now but um so this would be a 10 inch mini silicone full body baby girl. Okay. She's soft. I think she's played poured in equal flex 20. So she is, um, she's soft or she may be 30. She's soft, but yet firm, but that may be due to her size too. I am not completely sure. I'm still learning silicone. You guys, this little girl is for sale. She does have an open mouth. She has been painted to have ethnic skin tones and rooted hair dm me or send me a message or um a uh email at twice a child reborn nursery it's always in the description bar if you have any questions concerns or comments if you just want to reach out to me i can always be reached through there and this is a full silicone baby here um, I painted this one. I did not paint this one. Full disclaimer, let me get that out of the way. I did not paint this baby either. Um, this baby too is for sale. She is was a baby that was in my um private collection, and I am selling her for personal reasons um right now, but I just wanted to show her for the purposes of this video. But this baby is for sale, and the mini silicone baby is for sale. I painted Ashby as well. Ashby um, has a mommy already. Okay. So. Now this is a full body silicone. So meaning she has full girly parts also. Okay. Um, she has a drink and wet system and she has armatures. Armatures meaning her legs and arms can bend and they will straighten out. That's what armatures are. That's what they do. So she has them in her arm and her legs, and she also has a drinking wet, meaning she can drink fluid, and she has a girly parts that it will drain out of. Um, she is poured in um, equal flex 20, so she is softer than 30, okay? Softer than 30, but she's still pretty firm because now they have, everyone's making their own blends and then they have something that's called like a marshmallow blend, okay? So in a the minute they're going to have a, a, a silk liquid blend, but <laughs> just fall out your fingers when you hold it. No, but anyway, so um, she has been painted in um, ethnic colors to look like a um, AA baby or a biracial baby, okay? 
So you can have your silicone poured in different colors, meaning when you get your blank silicone, it can be um, blank, very fair, or you can get it poured with a little color. So it can have like Asian or Caucasian, I mean Asian or AA undertones already out in the paint already kind of laid out for you and then you can just add to it um now this is a silicone this is a full limbed not full body full limbed let me make sure he am frying get over the ash man okay now, Ashby here, he was um, sculpted and poured by Claire Taylor, and I bought the blank um, partial kit. He is called a partial because he, too, has a dose suede body that you will have to feel and weight if you would like. Um, but this one, it's really unique and special. It comes with a tummy plate, just like this one here. It comes with the tummy plate, but it is silicone. It's really thin. It's really thin, so like I say, for your um for your pictures and stuff like that, you can still get that illusion that it's a full body baby. But it actually just has limbs, just like your reborn doll, and it's stuffed with the dosue body, just like your reborn doll. But the limbs are full solid silicone. Okay, so they have to be painted just like silicone with silicone paints, which silicone uses a special paint other than what the reborn dolls are using. And by them being solid, they're a lot heavier than what the reborn dolls are also, okay? They're solid silicone, which um, which reflects in the price difference as well, okay? As you can see, his limbs, they so wiggly jiggly. Um, he is poor. I'm not sure what Equiflex he's poured in, but he's really soft. He's not a super soft blend, but he's soft and he feels really good. He felt good when he came to me, but um, now that I, he's all matted and everything, he really, really feels even better. Um, so yeah, I hope this video was helpful. This baby too also has an open mouth and open eyes, so you'll, you can get them. Um, they're sculpted this way. I've heard of some artists opening up the eyes and the mouth. Me, myself, personally, I don't trust myself to do that. I don't think that I have been working with these, with silicone dolls long enough to um, feel that confident to be doing all of that. Um, but I know some artists, they, they do and they don't have any problems. Can open up the eyes even. Um, that's, they call them peaky eye babies. Or um, open up the mouth if the mouth is closed. Um... Yeah, but these were sculpted with open mouths. And um, either they have open eyes or closed eyes. They can't do them both alternate on their own. I know that those Blythe dolls, those Blythe dolls can do that. So if you're into a doll that can open and close their eyes, you might want to check into that. But the reborn dolls, either they're sleeping babies or they're open eye babies. And their eyes don't open and shut. It's either one way or the other and they stay that way permanently. Um, so those are some of your options. I hope this video was kind of helpful in helping you decide what kind of baby you wanted, you know, what price point you wanted, and some of the features that you're looking for in some of your silicone babies. So you guys, happy Vlogmas. Don't forget to leave me a comment and a thumbs up before you leave out the door. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.